Welcome to another episode of Track It. This weekend, Ant from ACS Motorsport came down to help us fit a roll centre and bump steer correction kit to the Clio. center kit to the car it's probably a good idea we go over why we want to fit it in the first place and the issue that we've currently got from having lowered the car already there's loads of really good information about this on the net so I won't try and regurgitate that but I've put together a really simple explanation of what roll center is and what we're actually trying to achieve I'll put the links to the other stuff below so the diagram has got a green point which is a virtual point don't worry about that too much it's just where all the lines all connect then we've got the red dot, which is the current roll center. Roll center is exactly what it says on the tin. It's the point at which the car rolls around. Then we've got the gray dot, which is the center of gravity of the car. And that, of course, acts on the roll center. Just note the difference between the roll center position and the center of gravity. The further those are apart, the more the car rolls in the corner. So the car is standard height at the moment, standard geometry is as the factory intended. Now, if we lower the car, you can see that the roll center is now much, much further away from the center of gravity. And that means that when you're going around a corner, your car is actually more inclined to roll. You might think, oh, if it coilovers, that's not the case. But actually to compensate for this, coilovers tend to have much, much stiffer springs than the factory will. So what do we do to correct that? And what do we want to do? We want to lower the angle of the wishbone back to the correct position that it came from the factory while still leaving the hub in the lowered position. So with the roll center correction kit, you get a ball joint extender and essentially it moves that wishbone down to the correct place and keeps the hub in the same place. By doing that, you can see that the roll center is now much closer to the center of gravity of the car and that's when you're going around a corner, the car will roll much less than it did when it was originally lowered with no kit fitted.
just finished fitting the kits to the car, which took about two hours in total, which wasn't too bad. Um, luckily, everything came off pretty easily because we had loads of copper slip on, on everything beforehand, so that is a real treat when you're doing a job like this. Uh, we're quite particular about how we did it as well. So, the time, you could probably shrink it if you wanted, but nah, but worth spending the time on a job like this. So, we put some um, corrosion inhibitor, got some ACF 50 and some of this Dynax, it's built have a Dynax UC as well to protect the bottom ball joint carrier against any corrosion and got, just got a couple of jobs left to do on the car. We need to go out for a test drive, so we're gonna do that in a minute. We'll set the tracking approximately to where it was beforehand, but it's very difficult to get it perfect when you're just going by the number of turns on the track rod, and the, the length of the track rod end is slightly different on this one as well. So the tracking we'll do another time. That's a completely separate video altogether. We've got the next outing in the car in mid-January. The only difference between the old setup and the new one is the roll center kit. So it will be a direct, perfect comparison and a perfect platform to see how much difference it really makes. Really looking forward to it. The kit was really great, it's plug and play. Um, so what more would you want that is um, perfect when you're fitting something like this. No adjustment needed to any other parts. Of it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, then obviously really appreciate it if you did. Um, hopefully, I'll come out with a few.